If you're still deciding whether or not you should commit to USC, you clicked on the right video. Today, I'm just gonna spill the whole tea, what I like about USC, what I don't like about USC. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Diana. I'm a first-generation low-income Latina attending USC. I'm also sick, so please don't mind my voice. But I created this channel to help others who are like me, who look like me, um, know that we're out here in college. Um, and growing up, I didn't really see many people who look like me on YouTube. So I definitely would have found this helpful. So I am hoping this helps someone out. Also, there's a lot of noise outside. I'm sorry if you guys could hear it. It's downtown. I'm gonna start off with financial aid because that was the most difficult for me. If you're low income like me and you have an EFC of zero, the lowest that the financial aid package, um, estimated package gives you is around 10K, which is a lot. 10K a year times four, that's 40K. Who is going to pay 40K? So that estimated package is very, very, very exaggerated. Obviously, depending on how much your parents make. My parents made under 80K which USC covers tuition for families who make under 80K. So I was like, why am I still having to pay this 10K? So I talked to um, a financial advisor at USC and he was very, very helpful. He basically told me that that was just a very overestimated cost that um, I would technically just have to be paying for housing and probably meals. What I paid last semester was about a thousand dollars and you know, it's nothing compared to $10,000. So if your financial aid package is telling you anything for 10K and you know that your EFC is zero, just know that it's most likely gonna be anywhere from a thousand to 5,000 because that's what happened to the situations with myself, my roommate and people I've talked to. I just wish USC would have made that clear because I think that's a lot of reasons that many people don't come. Next um, is definitely programs. Something I love about USC is that we're very well-rounded. We have an awesome business program, architecture program, film program, journalism, and so, so much more. And I think that that's why a lot of people love coming to USC because in case you decide to change your major, you're still getting a good education in the next major that you are interested in. My major is business and cinematic arts, which is part of the business school and also the cinematic arts school. And it's awesome because like USC is number one in film and number three in business. So I think like just being in those two strong assets will help me, you know, do a career that hopefully makes me good money. Um, but also it's just because I love film and that's also why I started my YouTube channel just to start practicing how to edit, how to produce and whatnot. There is a lot of aspects within Marshall, but I will make a different video for that. So stay tuned. So yeah, I definitely recommend going to a university that has a strong asset in your major so that it can really help you in your career. The other thing about USC is that there's a lot of progressive degrees. So progressive degree is where you're able to complete your bachelor's degree and your master's in four years. So it's pretty cool, you know, you could get your bachelor. What? Your bachelor's? You could get your bachelor's and your master's within four years. And it, like, if you're on financial aid, it also, like, covers that. So you won't have to pay for grad school. USC has amazing resources. USC's Career Center is really there to help you build your resume, your cover letters. And it also has, like, career advising where you can go in and, you know, have a consultation on what you should do with your life. They also help you find internships. There's also a brand new First Generation Plus Center for first generation undocumented foster and transfer students, which is, just serves as a safe place where you can go and study or just chill. It's one of my favorite places on campus. Then there's also the student union, which has La Casa for the Latino students. There's also a specific space for black students, for Asian Pacific students, for people in the LGBTQ plus community. So, they are very there to welcome every single person um so you could just find people who are very similar to you in that way which leads me to my next point if you're any like special interest community such as latino you know 
queer or black asian um, pacific islander or whatnot there are specific floors in the dorms i put a little chart over here the so different buildings have different sections for where i mean <laughs> i remember when i told my sister i was gonna like live in the latino floor she was like girl that is literally segregation <laughs> which i guess technically it is because we're literally all segregated in one space but i just i just like it because i'm surrounded by people who also speak spanish who also listen to the music i do and we have very similar backgrounds next we're gonna go into social life usc is known to be that work hard play hard vibe and it definitely is there's always so much going on with usc whether that be parties and events every week um i haven't gone to any of like the big frat parties here just because it's white people <laughs> and that's also i don't think my vibe like i'd rather go to a club and listen to bad bunny there's been so many fun events there's been roller skating um psychedelic first came sweetie comes once in a while she's i think teaching a course at uh, marshall which is pretty cool um i haven't been to like any of the football games because they're expensive but i heard those were fun um there's also like all the other games like basketball volleyball they're all free to attend yeah there's so many cool events that happen and you get free food so definitely recommend talking about food there's three dining halls and the food is okay it's good i'll say it's good um you, it just does get tiring after a while here are some examples of the food it's pretty good i would rate everything overall like an eight or a nine out of ten there's a lot of variety of food and we also have a little center where there is um verde which is like a chipotle like restaurant there's also a lot at the law cafe there's like salmon bowls and there's a lot of variety of things that you could get with the meal swipes which is very cool because i thought the meal swipes were only for the dining halls but you can use them for like uh burgers um chicken there's a lot there's a lot of food so if you try something new each day you won't get tired of it but i'm a very picky eater so that's why i get tired of things very easily but the food is great it's good usc also has a lot within walking distance there's a trader joe's at the village there's um a target and then down figueroa there's like carl's jr mcdonald's subway um panda there's a dumplings place there's like literally any fast food that you can think of is there there's boba there's tacos and so much more um which is pretty good because i don't have a car i can't really go far like everyone else um usc is also right next to the metro station that could literally take you down to downtown la can take you to hollywood it could also take you to Santa Monica, which is amazing if you don't have a car and are on a budget. There's also the free lift system that after 6 p.m. you can order a lift and it's free. Just It just has to be like in a one mile radius radius from USC. Now let's, let's get to the tea. Let's get to the bad things. The things that I'm like mm, about USC, but they're not total deal breakers. I mean, that's up to you. First off, it's scandals. USC hates to address shit. It just doesn't. We have Miss Olivia Jade. No, actually, it, what's funny is that because of the college admission scandal, USC got recognized next to Stanford and Harvard and whatnot. And, you know, it got that rec- Because I had never really heard of USC until, like, my freshman year of high school. But yeah, USC does not have the best reputation because of its scandals with just like the college admissions but also with like rape and sexual assault there was a case last year where this girl was raped by the president of a fraternity and usc didn't really do much about it literally expel the kid like turned down like literally fuck greek life it's that whole culture is very very toxic in the sense that oh i'm not gonna say anything because that's my brother like I don't know i just find it so dumb and it, it's frustrating as a woman and just like as anyone in general just to you know be in an institution that doesn't really care about these big issues and i think the other bad thing about usc is just the lack of diversity as much as i think things are getting better in terms of diversity in um, higher education 
there is still a lack of diversity in staff and students and by staff i mean like professors i have not had a professor of color um except one but i have not had like any latino professors or any of that sort and i feel like just having a professor who looks like you and like understands your struggle is very helpful as well I think I just also came from like a school who predominantly was Latino so like there was definitely a culture shock to just have white teachers. One of my classes this professor confused two of the Asian students and called them the same name. I don't know it was just it was just bad. Some professors are also very conservative but I think that's more on like the Marshall side where it's like 60 year olds talking about being Republican. Uh, for the most part, most of the professors are very involved in the research of what they're teaching. They're very knowledgeable, but they don't know how to teach. And that's another aspect, but they are very approachable. They have office hours and are always there if you ever need that extra help. I remember thinking that I was going to be the only Latina in my classes, and I'm not. Um, USC is known for its small classes. So there is some classes where it's like 15 people, but I also have bigger lectures where it's like 100 or 300 people. So it really depends on what classes. It's usually like um, my marketing class, my cinema class are like anywhere from 100 to 300 people. Um, but for my smaller seminars, like my writing class and my solving social problems class, there's like 15 people or less in that class, which I kind of like just because we get to discuss more and really interact with other students i mean usc is an amazing school it's located in los angeles sunny la it's, it's such a beautiful campus as well i went to the annenberg building today which is like the journalism and it's they have like this huge tv screen and it's so beautiful the marshall school is very beautiful the people at usc are very very intellectual i feel like everyone i've interacted with have been very nice and very smart except for the exception of like the few people who are giving that those microaggressions like my roommate and i have been like looked down upon by some white girls and i mean it's gonna it's inevitable it's just racism but but it is definitely a place where you will make friends especially welcome week people are so willing to just be friends with everyone because everyone's new so definitely reach out to people on instagram or if that's too much just wait until you come on campus and just talk to people just hey my name is blah blah, blah. i'm this major what's your major um you know do you want to go eat or just any small talk and you know if that person doesn't fit your vibe then it's okay there's literally thousands and thousands of people here definitely take advantage of just meeting new people it's you never know who you're gonna meet that's another thing there's so many celebrities going to usc specifically my grade i heard obama's daughter went here i don't know if that's true but storm reed goes here iris patel comes here natalia bryant like i've they i've had them in my cinema class which is just cool i've seen iris my roommate's seen storm um i've also seen nina lu she has a beautiful voice she loves performing at like this open space where students are allowed to just come and perform and she's so talented there's definitely some very very creative amazing people here so do i regret coming to usc of course not i think i made the perfect decision and i'm so grateful and happy to be here um that being said it obviously depends on your major and what you want to do. Um, so I, my biggest advice is just go with your gut. If you know, you've already thought of all these factors, but you're still wanting to go to that one school, just go for it. And if it doesn't work out, you can always transfer, though it will be a hassle, but it's not the end of the world. All in all, college is really what you make it. You are gonna have to be the one who talks to your professors, goes to office hours, gets involved, and just, just taking advantage of every opportunity is what's gonna get you further in life. But yeah, it all really depends on you. So no matter where you go, um, you just gotta merge yourself in the school, get involved, meet new people, find your community, and everything will be all right.
I wore this hoodie just for that. In a weird way, everything somehow just works out. And if it doesn't, like, it wasn't meant to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up just so it could help the algorithm and show it to other people who will hopefully also find it helpful. Comment down below any other questions you have about USC. Um, I'll definitely answer them or if you want to you know talk more about USC you could definitely DM me on Instagram. But yeah thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. I'll be doing more college like tips and freshman advice within the next couple of months so definitely subscribe and don't miss that content thank you for watching see you next time bye love you